right, we are getting ready to go to bed. bed. Yes. <laughs> But a big surprise is, if you've been following along on our Instagram, we've been wanting to do the Upper Yosemite Falls for a very long time, um, which is still a pretty hard hike. I think it's about eight miles round trip, 3,200 foot elevation gain, um, just switchbacks the entire time. But- I'm already stretching. Yes. Ugh. Okay. But the big thing is we're looking at it and El Cap, the cliff that I have been obsessed with for a few years now is only like two, three miles further than Upper Yosemite Falls. So we are going to attempt to go to Upper Yosemite Falls, then go to El Cap and see the view. We also heard that the Eagles Point has like the best view of the valley. 360 view of the whole valley. So we're gonna check that out on the way there, which will add another half mile. So tomorrow's gonna be a long day. All in all, it's probably gonna be close to 15, 16 miles, but it's gonna be super sick. Stretching again, ooh. <laughs> How are you feeling, Alexa? I'm so freaking nervous, y'all. Like, I was just, saying that like I talked Connor into it because I'm like oh my gosh we're almost there let's just do it and then once Connor was on board I was like oh wait no like I'm getting cold feet now and then reading some of the reviews some parts seem a little sketchy because of the snow and I guess bears were sighted so we'll see but they're black bears black bears brown bears white bears whatever bears I'm scared <laughs> We are hiking up this waterfall right here. We're gonna end up going up here, switch backs all the way to the front. And so we're gonna hit the top right there. Then we're gonna take a little trail that goes down and to see the actual falls. And then this is called Yosemite Point where this is actually a really good view of the valley that we're gonna go to. And then if we're feeling up to it, we are going to take this ridge all the way up and this is Eagle's Nest right here. On the other side of it is El Capitan, which hopefully we are going to climb to the top of that. To we are starting our ascent of Upper Yosemite Falls. We're only about a mile in, but a thousand feet high. But obviously this hike isn't super easy. We're only a mile in and I'm already honestly kind of dying. But um, it is cool because you get a couple good view spots. So we're sitting on Columbia Rock right now which is a really good view spot. And then I think there's one more good view spot where you actually get to see the falls and the valley floor. Even though we're hurting, let the flame fill the night when we touch them, we ignite. We just saw the falls for the first time in our hike. We have to go all the way up to the tippy tippy top. We are about a mile and a half in now. We are so excited now that we can see the falls. <laughs> What's up? So we are two thirds of the way up and I'll be honest, the view just keeps getting better and better. So there's the falls, plus you have a view of the entire Yosemite Valley all in one honestly this is so breathtaking we'll put a picture in the video but it is so breathtaking i don't think pictures or videos can do it justice but two thirds there one third to go all right we are what five three fourths of the way down? yeah three fourths five six somewhere on that but i'll be honest this hike is not an easy one it is very tough you're it's all uphill pretty much you're going straight up three thousand feet elevation gain but the higher you get the better the views get i and mean it's totally worth it but these are a must yeah so trekking poles definitely go and pick some up before you come and deodorant yeah. <laughs> Top of Upper, I almost just dropped my GoPro. Uh, the top of Upper Yosemite Falls, and man, the view is amazing from up here. And what's crazy is that, like, 
we're, we're so we're from Utah and a lot of times we hike or we drive halfway up the mountain and then we hike the rest no this one we went all the way down from the valley floor all the way up this so we gained we're pretty proud of ourselves yeah we gained over 3,000 feet in elevation and we might gain more the best part is too is we are all alone right now there's no one else around us so it makes it really nice to like kind of be secluded and enjoy this special moment i feel like the harder the hike the more alone we get which is really fun All right, friends, we made it to the Upper Yosemite Falls. It was so beautiful, so worth it. Definitely wouldn't do with kids, yeah. <laughs> or, but it was so beautiful. And it was really cool too, because at the end you could hike down a little bit and it took you to this ledge, with beautiful overlook, and you can see like straight down the falls. And There's a little fork that you can take right out outside of Upper Yosemite and it goes to um, El Capitan, and Eagle's, Eagles Peak. Peak, which is supposedly the most beautiful place here. Eagle, we talked to a ranger and the Eagle's Peak, said, he said that that was by far the best view of Yosemite that you can get other than Half Dome, but he was just like, it's up there with Half Dome. So we're gonna hike that one. That one's only 2.8 miles. 2.8 miles from that fork. And Al Cap is only 4.5. So we decided to do the extra, what was it? 2.8 miles, 2.8 miles. It was a pretty tough hike though. You had to go through some snow, some rain or some rivers. Some swampland, which was a little sketchy. Yeah, so there is, it wasn't an easy hike getting up to this point, but look at the view. So that's half dome right there. And then behind us is El Cap. And actually we are sitting higher than El Cap. Hunter, how are you really feeling? Dude, I honestly feel like I just walked across the entire world. <laughs> I'm pretty tired. But we are just about here and it I'm so we're I'm so proud of us, honestly. I was just telling Connor, this is the longest I have ever hiked in a day. We are just up close to 10 miles getting here don't talk to me about going back yeah, yet then we just have to backtrack and double what we've done but we climbed el cap or we hiked el cap i won't give us the climb title yet i guess <laughs> a bucket list item for honestly a few years now but I never knew I knew I would eventually do it but I didn't think I would do it this soon and it's so worth it very very fulfilled feeling All right, we are on our way down and it might look backwards to you, but we did Eagle Peak, which is 2.8 miles. And then it's kind of weird because you're on one main trail, but then Eagle Peak, you have to hike like half a mile out and then half a mile back in order to get it. All uphill, of course, because it's a beautiful view. So we showed you that. We showed you El Cap, which from here is 4.7 miles away. And honestly, fantastic experience we are dog tired we still have three more miles left before we get to the floor but we are super stoked we did it is 
We made it back. It was honestly, the last four miles, I cried. It was so hard for me. I think my body just gave out. You can feel that I cried. But we just got picked up dinner and we're eating it in bed. There's no showers here. So we're just going to bed stanky. And, and honestly, that's about to be real soon because we're so tired. Tomorrow we'll be proud. Tonight we'll be hurt. <laughs> All right, guys, we just came up on a bear. There's a bear right there, probably about 100 yards away, just eating some berries, but. Right as we're leaving Yosemite, what a excitement. 